that is a monster. In the video it's hard to get scale to see how big this fish really is. That is a massive clam loach. Well, you've got to be careful of that heater. See, see that heater there, the way he hit that heater so hard? You can get heater protectors to stop the heater from... Because he hit that so... Because big fish can hit heaters and hit them against a the wall and smash them. And then electrocute themselves. Or electrocute you, which is not... Either way, it's lose-lose. My favourite fish I ever had, Daryl, a big giant guami, he electrocuted himself by smashing a heater. With the big fish, that is a bit of a risk. And you just put a heater guard on it, that way if he hits it, then he can't electrocute himself. Okay. The other thing this tank would love too, is just a bit more surface agitation. See the way your surface is a little bit flat? So what does that mean? Oh, just, high? No, just, if, um, if you're able to either get another pump just to agitate it with a, another pump, or even just shorten this a bit oh they're good but it's just not really enough if um you're able to shorten this a bit so that what's going on with that really clip in there yeah, if you can sort of try to get as much agitation of the surface as possible you know just trying to ripple the surface, it's just a little bit flat. Just um, give them a bit more oxygen, raise the redox potential a little bit. They'll certainly love you for it. All good.